Now let's take a look how to understand some of these generalizations, some of these important sentences in predicate logic. Remember we were talking about all bachelors are unmarried. Well think of the circle as representing the class of everything that's unmarried. So all bachelors are unmarried tells us that everything in the class of bachelors is going to be in the class of unmarried people. Okay, so anybody who is a bachelor is going to be in the class of un the bigger class unmarried people. And notice the class of unmarried people contains everybody in the class of ba of bachelor. Now these kind of diagrams are something that are called Venn diagrams. And I'm going to use that as we talk about predicate logic to help you kind of get a grasp, an understanding of what these kinds of generalizations that we've been talking about, what they mean. Now let's take a look at another one. We had most basketball players at all. We look at the circle, not quite a circle, but let's make believe, the circle that represents all of the tall things in the universe. Well, when we say most basketball players are tall, what we're saying is that when you look at the class of professional basketball players, most of the things that are in that class represented by that circle of professional basketball players are in the class of tall things. Let's take a look at the next example, some politicians are honest. Consider the class, all the class, you know, the circle that contains all of the things that are honest. Well, if we're saying some politicians are, are honest, excuse me, we're saying that look at the circle representing cl class of everything, or the category of every th every person that's a politician. Well, some of those people are also in the category of honesty. So here the Venn diagram explains to us exactly what that generalization means. Now let's look at the case, no Christians are Muslims. Look at the class of Christians represented by that circle. When we say no Muslims are Christians, we're saying look at that class of all the Muslims. They do not overlap in any way. We can see the daylight. So nobody who is a Muslim is a Christian. Now that's capturing a certain facts. These Venn diagrams are capturing the cer certain facts about the generalizations, and when we're looking at predicate logic, generalizations are key premises. Well, bachelors are married, things like most professional basketball players at all, some politicians are honest, no Muslims are Christians. These kinds of generalizations in predicate logic are not about a particular individual, they're about a whole class of, or a whole category or a whole class of people that are, you know, fall under a certain predicate, or sometimes we say that they all have a property in common. That is, there's some relationship between having a certain characteristic and having a certain other characteristic. So predicate logic, and sometimes what are called categorical syllogisms, which are just patterns, good patterns of inference in predicate logic, have to do or the logic of them depends on those key generalizations that are key premises